Hey there, YouTube. So, uh, Chris was running the camera. Hey. And Leah's over there sleeping. Or she's awake, I don't know which. Alright, so today's video, we will be in Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. And it says this. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men, to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father, which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. So last week... Um, we made a video titled, uh, Faith and or Works, Paul versus James. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, I really recommend you go see it first before you watch this one. Um, I would put a link in the description. I don't know how to do that, guys. I do apologize, but if you go right to the channel, it's, uh, the second to last video that I've uploaded lately. Um, it's not necessary to watch that before you, uh, watch this one. But it might give you a little context, and if you haven't seen it, I'd really recommend it anyway. But, you know, uh, self-promotion out of the way. <laughs> Sorry guys, I apologize, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, on to the more important topic, and that is this. In that video, I made it clear that we should be, we should show our faith by our works. James says he would rather show you his faith by his works. And on top of that, even Jesus says this, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So there may be some confusion, and that's understandable. Um, so let's talk about this. And the passage I just read to you is from Matthew chapter 5, so it's right before Jesus says this. It's still during the Sermon on the Mount. So it seems like they're saying, both Jesus and James, it seems like they're both saying we should show our good works, right? We should show people our good works and let them see them. Well, that's not what they're saying, and let me get into why. Okay, Jesus said the purpose of our good works is to give glory to God, not ourselves. And how many people these days do we see that love to show off their good works? Okay, think about it. I've seen this and it, it disturbs me, it really does. You know, someone who apparently just wants to help this poor beaten down soul, so they've got a hot meal ready for them, but they've also got a camera. And they're watching them with this camera and recording it. And then they're showing it to people like, look what I did. All right, that's a problem. It was the same thing with the religious leaders of Jesus's day, all right? They would show off when they did their good works. They would show, look, I'm giving money to this poor cripple or this poor blind man or on and on. They would show off what they're doing. And Jesus makes it very clear that the only reason someone does something like this is for people to see what they're doing, for people to praise them. Alright? There's one thing I can't stand that's been going on lately. And let me explain. Throughout this whole pandemic, the whole coronavirus pandemic, I've seen this on TV and it's made me feel sick. Alright? There's companies that have actually made commercials talking about, well, we donated this, our company donated two million dollars to this project or something like that, or our company is doing this good thing, or something like that. There's a problem here. They're doing this to pat themselves on the back. Getting information out there is one thing, okay? But they're showing off. Because, do you guys, does anybody know how much it costs to make a commercial? I don't have that numbers on the top of my head, but if anyone knows, please let me know. What's the purpose in making that commercial, okay? if unless it's to get information, like if you need something, come to our company and get this. 
Okay, that's fine. But these, I've seen commercials where they're literally just, and I'm not gonna say any names, I don't wanna get into any trouble, I don't wanna get my video red flagged or whatever it's called, I don't want any of that. Copyright strike. That, yes, thank you. I don't want that or anything like that. So, but you guys have all seen it, I know you have. You've seen these commercials where they're like, our company's doing this great thing during the virus. Why? Why are they announcing this? Why are they making this public? I'll tell you why. It's to pat themselves on the back and show off. All right, it's not for your benefit and it's certainly not for the glory of God. Now, I don't know if these people, I don't know if the CEOs of this company are Christian. I can say that much, but I can tell you right now, they're making these commercials to show off. When Jesus did good, he didn't boast. In fact, if anything, he told people to keep quiet when he healed them. He didn't say go around and show off. He said, no, keep quiet. Tell no man. And if anyone deserved praise for doing good works, it would be Jesus. But instead he was humble. And that's how we should be. When we, when we do good works, first off, two things. One, God should receive all the praise. And above all, we shouldn't make it a point to be seen doing good. Okay? If, we make, if we're not going to help someone when no one else is around, then don't help them when there's a crowd either. I'm just going to state that fact. If you're the kind of person who is just going to keep driving when you see a homeless person, then don't make it your point to stop if you have a car full of people and take care of that homeless person because you're doing it to be seen and you're doing it to be praised. And do not bring a camera along with you. Do not record yourself because you are only looking for their praise then. You are not looking for the love of God. You are not looking to glorify God. And you will not be rewarded by God for what you do. God will reward us for good works. That is very true. Jesus talks about us receiving rewards for our good works. But he says our Father will reward us if we do our good works in secret, if we don't boast, if we don't talk about them. If we do, there will be no reward because guess what? You've already received your reward and that's other men's praise. You can't be paid for the same thing twice. You can't be rewarded for the same thing twice. Okay? I can't... If I send Christopher to carry a package for me and he gets paid when he gets there I'm not going to pay him when he gets back too would that make any sense Christopher? not really don't try and say it would just because you're the one getting paid I was thinking about that I'm like wait a minute I'm not that mean <laughs> so what does James mean then? okay how do we show our faith by our good works? and it's simple just do good alright if you do it for the love of God then your faith will be shown. Your faith will be seen. You don't have to worry about, don't make it a point, like I said, to be seen. And a couple things. Don't demand credit or praise. Don't bring it up to anyone else. You do your good works, you don't bring it up to anyone. You keep it between you and God and the other person. If the other person decides to talk about it, that's entirely up to them. But you don't need to. And certainly, above all else, do not accept payment for doing a good work. Now, that's for another video. Um, it's in the works, but if you guys would like me to get it up faster, then the fastest way to do it is to give this video a like. If I can get to if I can get enough likes on this video by the end of the week, then I'll push this. I'll push the uh, next video to be the one I just talked about, the not receiving payment. Um, anyway, sorry. So, we need to understand something. We don't deserve praise for doing good works. We don't deserve credit. We don't deserve anything like that. Now, don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's okay to be ungrateful. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying Jesus did good works even to people who were ungrateful. You read in John 19, or was it 18? It might have been 18. Anyway, you read in John how 
the servant of the high priest who came to oversee Jesus being arrested, Peter cut off his right ear. Or was it his left ear? It just says he cut off his ear. I can't remember which one it says. Anyway, Peter cuts off his ear. Jesus heals him. Jesus does not demand credit for healing him. And he doesn't sit there during his trial and say, well, I did good. Why are you still arresting me? He doesn't do that. He does the good work and lets it speak for itself. He, open, he does not open his mouth about it at all. And that's how we should be too. When you do good, if you're doing it for the love of God, then do it right. Don't demand credit and certainly do not make a show of it. Let God see what you're doing and let him handle it. All right? If the other person's not grateful, that's between them and God. All right? The Bible says multiple times, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So, I hope you guys have taken something away from this. Um, I'd like to close with a word of prayer and then make a few announcements and we'll go from there. This is a little shorter video. Um, it's more something I really should have included it on last week's video and I didn't. So this is more or less just me fixing my mistakes, basically. All right, let's say a word of prayer. <clears throat> Father, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you that, thank you that even though we are sinners and we have fallen short, thank you that you still give us these opportunities, these chances. Thank you that your name is glorified, Father. We don't deserve credit, we don't deserve praise. You deserve all the praise and all the glory for everything that gets done, Lord. And I thank you for that. Lord, I thank you that you are God. I thank you that you are good and loving. And Lord, I thank you that you have allowed us to have this opportunity to serve you. And Lord, I just ask that you will watch over each of us and help us to remain humble. I'll admit it, I... I know I have pride, and I'll be the first to admit it. And Lord, I just ask that you help me to handle that pride that I feel and to replace it with humility. And I pray that you will watch over all of us and bless those who are here with us today, Father. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, let me make a few announcements. Um, so hopefully there'll be a few more videos up soon. Um, like I said, if we reach, uh, let's go for 20 likes. If we reach 20 likes by Sunday, then on Monday I will upload that video that I was talking about. Because that'll show me that there's an interest in seeing it. It's going to get uploaded either way, okay? But I want to make sure there's an interest in seeing it sooner than later. So if we reach 20 likes by Monday, I'll upload that video next. Um, or by Sunday, I'll upload that video next. Um, if you're new, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. Um, this is a little bit different video than my normal ones. Like I said, this is more or less me fixing my mistake. So, um, definitely go check out that last video we made about faith and or works, Paul versus James. A little bit of a self-promotion there, not really, but kind of. Um, subscribe if you're new and share this video if you think it'll help someone else and above all guys like I said just you know for those of you who are already subscribed thank you I hope that this is helping in some way I hope that what I'm doing I, I hope that what God is doing through me let me say that not what I'm doing I'm not doing anything but I hope that what God is doing through me is helping I hope that my stubbornness and my selfishness and my pride are not getting in the way uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, Christopher, can you think of anything else? No. All right, well, you guys have a great day, and God bless you.